If you're watching this video, you probably already know the importance of interlinking your pages and your posts together on your website for SEO. So when you interlink your stuff, basically it's so good because it improves the crawlability of your websites. So these search bots can go through and find new pages, understand your site structure and get more clarity on your website overall. And it improves the user experience of your website. It keeps people on your website longer and it portrays you as the expert to people because they're getting to know your content, your perspective and kind of navigating through all of the pages on your website, which then leads to more conversions. But the issue is with interlinking is that it's kind of a pain in the butt. So in this video, I'm going to bring you behind the scenes and show you the back end of this new tool that I just started using to help me start interlinking my pages without having to go through and do everything manually. So it's making things a whole lot quicker, a lot more streamlined, and there are ways to automate certain links so that you don't have to add them manually. If all of that sounds good to you, let's get into it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah, an SEO consultant and educator for entrepreneurs over at MariahMagazine.com. So on this channel, I help simplify things like websites, tech, SEO, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. In today's video, like I already said in the intro, we're gonna dive into the world of interlinking. And now I will say that the tool that I'm about to dive into, I am using on my WordPress website. They do have an option for Shopify websites too. I haven't tested it over there on that platform, but just a heads up, if your website is on WordPress, you are about to love this tool. Let's kick it into the screen share. So after you go ahead and install and set up Link Whisper, you'll be able to access the dashboard right here in the left-hand side, you should see it. And then we're just hanging out in reports here. So as you can see, we can see link stats, most linked to domain domains, internal versus external links. So this is really good at being able to see the information about your links profile from like a bird's eye view, bird's eye perspective. So you can see the posts that it crawled, how many links that it found, how many internal links, how many orphan posts, meaning that there's no links to these posts specifically. So you're definitely going to want to take a look at those if you have a lot of them. And then it's going to go through broken links, broken video links, 404 errors, all of that. And so speaking of broken links, they do have a broken links report right here. So you can have Link Whisper scan your website for broken links. And if it finds them, it will go ahead and list them here. Now I will say that this tool is not perfect with this. So if it scans your site and it doesn't find any broken links, I would just double check it with another tool. There's a bunch of free ones. I do have a video on my channel that goes through a free tool that you can use just to kind of back this one up, just to make sure that we're not missing any broken links. But what I want to start with is the links report here. So basically you can see like all of your pages and your posts here, and then you can see the amount of inbound internal links, outbound internal links, and then outbound external links. So you can see your link profile on a page by page basis. So you can just scroll and see like some of these blog posts only have two internal links. And so they have more external links and internal links. So I might want to come in here and kind of add some more internal links that make sense specifically for this post. And then I have a blog post here, the SEO glossary for online business owners. And this actually doesn't have any external links to it. So I might wanna take a look at that, maybe add some external links. So this is really good at just being able to see things on a page by page basis, like a really quick overview. And then you can come up here, domain support. This is such a cool feature. So when I first started playing around with Link with Whisper. To be honest, I didn't really know what to expect. I'm like adding internal links. Like, is it really that hard to do? And I didn't understand the features, but I'm really glad that I let one of my friends talk me into testing this because this is so helpful. So basically in the domains report, you're going to have domains that your website already links out to listed here. And then you'll be able to set like a site-wide setting to be able to 
tell your website, hey, when a link from this domain is added, make sure that they all open in a new tab. That is so helpful. So this is one way to kind of automate this stuff because usually in WordPress, you have to manually add this stuff and it's not like it takes a long time. It only takes a couple seconds, but seconds add up to minutes, to hours, to days. You know what I'm saying? So if we could just save ourselves some time, but essentially Instagram, so like I can set it and I'm going to now, but every time that I add a link that heads over to Instagram, I want it to open in a new tab. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click update that. And then we're gonna click okay. But then you can see the posts or the pages that you have linking to this domain name. And then you can see it on a link by link basis too. So that is very helpful. And then as you could see, when I clicked on those, you have other options for links too. So you can make sure that they always open in the same tab. You They are set to no follow, do follow, sponsored, all of that stuff. So very helpful and can already save you a little bit of time, even if you just set that up. So then we head over to clicks report. And this is cool because I just set this up. So I don't have a ton of data in here, but I just clicked link click so that it showed the pages in the post with the top amount of link clicks so that we can take a look at them. But this is a blog post and you'll be able to see that there were 30 link clicks from this specific blog post. And so if you want to find out what the most popular links that are being clicked on your website, like on your pages and on your posts, this is how you're able to see that. So you can click this down arrow and then click the view detailed click report. And then we'll be able to see, so we're gonna click total links again. I wanna see the most clicked links. So we'll be able to see that it's this website, this domain name, this specific page, and this link anchor text that is getting the most amount of link clicks. So that's really helpful because that can inspire new blog posts. Maybe it can also inspire a collaboration if you're linking to another creator and you know that like your audience, your website visitors are interested in what they got going on. So maybe you wanna collaborate with them or it might give you a really good signal if you're linking out to like a bigger brand or or software or something like that to make sure that you reach out to that brand and see if they have an affiliate program because obviously your readers are interested in this recommendation. So that's why I am loving this report. Just helps make decisions. And like, I don't know about y'all, but I got a lot of decisions to make every day. So if I can look at data and it can help me make decisions, I'm a big fan of it. And then we're gonna head over into the auto linking tool right here. So this is where the automation stuff gets pretty, pretty cool with Link Whisper. You can basically trigger Link Whisper to automatically add a hyperlink to a page on your website every time you write that keyword or that key phrase or something like that. So as an example, we're just gonna do SEO roadmap because that is one of my freebies. So so I'm just going to copy this URL and paste it right in there. And then we're going to check out the settings. So there are some things that you're going to want to double check here, depending on the link that you're adding. Some things are set up by default, just so that it doesn't get a little funky chicken with some things. So I have this checked on only link once per post. So if I say SEO roadmap 17 times in a blog post, I only wanted to add one interlinking opportunity. You might want to turn this off, keep it on whatever you want to do. You can check this so it's like only create an internal link when the target is published, meaning that the page is published so it won't add an internal link if you are using this keyword on a page or a post that is drafted. Okay, so that's really helpful at like not having 404 errors and broken links and all of that. And then one of the rules that Link Whisper has is that you only add one link per sentence so that like you don't have one sentence. It's just like 17 different links in here. If you wanna go ahead and override that, you can do that. And so if you wanna double check these auto links before it inserts them, you can turn in this on. You can set priorities. You can do all of that. I am going to keep it just like this and I am going to create an auto link rule and then it's going to go ahead and scan the pages and automatically add the links. I actually didn't have any places on my website where I said SEO roadmap and I didn't already have it linked. So I went into another blog post and kind of just added it. Notice no link happening right here. And so we can go back and I refreshed it and it automatically added the link to it. So we're gonna view this 
blog posts, scroll down to the bottom and see how this link looks just to double check. And so as you can see, it works. We love it. Okay, so imagine how much time that that could save you. If you are always recommending freebies or other blog posts, or like, especially if you have a lot of blog posts on your site already, I find that like Link Whisper, if you have more than like 10 blog posts, a lot of the times it's really hard to remember the URLs or remember to interlink things together. So using this auto linking feature is going to save you a ton of time. And then a couple more things that we have here. So we have target keywords. So you can connect Link Whisper to Google Search Console and it will show you some reports and some information on that. I haven't dove too deep into it, so I'm not gonna go into it. And then we also have a URL changer. So if you have an old URL and you're changing the URL, this is a good way to set up redirects so we don't have any broken links. But before we end this video, I just wanna show you what Link Whisper looks like on the back end when you're actually editing pages. So this is just like the back end WordPress writer of one of my pages. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and then you'll see the Link Whisper settings. So you can see the target keywords up here. You can play around with that. We have suggested links and settings here. But if we go down, basically Link Whisper is scanning my content and then making suggestions on where to add links. So I say, especially my DIY SEO humans, well, Link Whisper knows that I have a DIY SEO course. So I'm definitely gonna wanna add a link to that. So you can basically go through these and check them if they make sense for you. So I say, are you targeting the right SEO keyword? And then it wants me to link to my homepage. And to be honest, I don't like that. So I'm just going to ignore that one, but you can go ahead and scan through all of its suggestions here and see if you like them, if you don't like them, and you can go ahead and check them. So we're talking about SEO titles and meta descriptions, and I do have a guide on that. So I will check that link and then SEO or organic search. And I do have a page talking about me being an organic SEO consultant. Like this is so cool. I probably would have forgotten to link to all of these because I just, I have so many pages and so many posts on my website. So after you check the ones that you'd like, you can go ahead and just click insert links into posts and it will automatically add those internal links into your post content for you. And then you can, if you want to, you can go post by post. You can start with like your main priority pages, your main priority posts, all of that. So I will say that I didn't go deep into the link whisper settings. There's a lot happening here. I'm not really well versed in it, but my friend Nina from She Knows SEO ended up creating an incredible tutorial that walks through all of the links whisper settings. It's actually the video that I watched in order to set mine up properly. So if you end up snagging Link Whisper, definitely watch her video. I will link it below in the video description box below. And after all of that, if you're liking what you're seeing and you think that this tool would be useful, you can use the code Mariah Magazine to save $15 off of your purchase of Link Whisper. And if you want to support my channel and support my content, I do also have an affiliate link in the video description box below. So if you could use that link to go ahead and make your purchase, and then like I said, use the coupon code Mariah Magazine to save $15, that would be incredible. But other than that, I think that's the basic overview that I wanted to go through, but hopefully that's really helpful at kind of showing you different ways that you can streamline and automate the internal linkings happening on your WordPress website. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. The simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful and therefore hopefully pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And don't forget, if you are going to give Link Whisper a try, use the code Mariah Magazine to get $15 off. And if you would like to support me and the channel, please also use my affiliate link. It's gonna be listed in the video description box below. And if you have any questions about interlinking, about Link Whisper specifically, or anything SEO related, go ahead and leave me a comment below this video. I use your comments, your feedback, and your suggestions in order to inspire new videos on this channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, 
what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of this video and you're just getting started with DIY SEO, but you want some help navigating the process, then definitely consider downloading my free roadmap to successful SEO. The free SEO guide dives into what SEO is, why it's important, and how search engines work, along with my six-step process to improving your SEO and your rankings. And then finally, Finally, I dive into the three tasks that you can start doing today to get the results that you want from Google. If you want to go ahead and snag this for yourself, then you can click the link in the video description box below, or you can head over to my website at mariahmagazine.com roadmap to download your own copy.